my loves, it's Tuesday night and this, this here is the most festive meals vlog of the year. Because it's going to end with Christmas dinner. But it, that's not this. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, tonight we're just having one of the no meat pies from the plant chef range at Tesco uh, mashed potato with the last of the coriander pesto that I made last week in it and some very simple peas and sweet corn from freezer and a slice of bread and butter a couple of slices actually would you like to cut your pie open Jason for those that haven't seen the inside of the pie before uh, yeah I was actually, I thought for a second, I thought I'd just be really clever and just pull the top off because it looked like it had just come off. No but chance. No, I'll do, I'll do this. They, they are lovely pies. I think they're £2 something or £3 for a box of four. Um, our favourite pies are and will always be Linda McCartney Country Pies. Uh, 30 odd years they've been around. But these are good. They and, are. For, and for the price, they're like a really good price point they're a little bit smaller size wise they are i feel um but they uh, they don't scrimp on the filling they don't i think that's fair to say jay are you feeling knowing that this uh vlog will end with christmas dinner well i thought at the start i was like you're building this up aren't you it could be like you know it could literally just be christmas day that's the festive meal um but you're right nah. this is this is Christmas week now is what we're on the run up to. well it ends with a festive meal so it's festive yeah we're you know. looking forward to it it's going to be great it is and also we're looking forward to a bit of downtime aren't we indeed we are I'm going to cut open my pie now so I can get some of that gravy out uh, but yeah pesto my coriander pesto mash peas and sweet corn and a no meat pie from plant chef range at Tesco eee pie mash and veg or a cracker <laughs> bye loves Hello, my loves. It's um, Wednesday evening. Oh, only one more day left in work and then 11 days off. I'm so excited. Um, Jason will be here in just a moment because I wanted to take a moment to tell you about this. So, I used to have... I think this is an important kind of message because it's something that's taken me such a long time to learn. I, Whenever I made a curry... I always put a meat alternative in. I always did. For years and years and years, even as a vegetarian. Um, and then, when I've been out, when we've been out places, sometimes I've had something really simple, like this, which is a simple spinach and chickpea curry. Now, you might remember I made one a few weeks ago in, a, in a, another meals vlog, and we both said it was delicious. And we really, really enjoyed it. And this is me learning that not everything requires a meat alternative. Because as it happens now, this meal is 100% whole food plant-based. So I've got my curry paste uh, recipe on the channel. But to be honest with you, throughout the January, I'm going to do a new one. Because it's slightly advanced since the first time I started making it. Um, so this oh, here's Jason hi there <laughs> hi <laughs> um, so this is a very simple with, with my own curry paste and a can of coconut milk spinach and chickpeas and nothing more with our usual brown rice and a couple of uh, patak's mini garlic and coriander naan from Heron you get four in a pack clearly marked vegan we always love to see that Um it might be quite spicy. I'll give it a taste. I I'll... used I used a different colour of Scotch bonnet. This one was yellow and green. I was actually just looking at it, and you know what it reminded me of? What? It reminded me of that ridiculously spicy curry that we had at, I want to say, Lime Tree Festival. Where, where we nearly died from the Thai stall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It weren't the curry that nearly killed us. It were us being cocky little buggers, because there were some chilies there as a, as a kind of garnish mm -hmm. and we put loads on that was before we we weren't the men we are <coughs> now then we were, <coughs> he we, says we were not but boys mm. just a nice little bite at the back of the throat mm -hmm. well there's a scotch bonnet in the curry paste gorgeous because we do like our spice but yeah, honestly guys if you, whether you make your own curry sauces or you buy them just 
spinach and chickpeas. There's like a bag and a quarter of spinach in there. And I'm talking a massive family size bag as well. <laughs> um, so, you know, it does use a lot, but it's utterly delicious. So Wednesday night, there we have spinach and chickpea curry, brown rice and naan bread. And for me, a little lime pickle, but not for the Brahmers, he can't stand it. <laughs> uh, Asda, by the way, very good lime pickle, very good. And with a shot of the meal poll, I will, thanks Barbara. Bye loves! Hello my loves. Guess what? It's day to die! Yeah! <laughs> that was and an when, extra, extra special high. Yeah, one. we're now off to celebrate Christmas. For uh, oh, John, John from the Damage Report, we're watching you. Well, we've nearly finished, actually. Um, very simple one tonight. I fancied a college meal. I call meals like this college meals because when we were at college, we would have eaten stuff like this yeah. on the reg. On the reg, yeah. Um, so that is a box of umph buffalo wings that I've had in the freezer for quite a while. And as you know, the quite bulky boxes. Uh, and uh, as you probably know, if you saw the final um, update vlog on supermarkets, our search for a trifle. Um, I don't know where I was going with that then. I don't know where you was going with that. Just Oh, it's it's been a day. It's been a day. Oh, and we bought some things that I needed to fit in the freezer. Yes. Which is why right there, there. Back knew, on track. I knew there was a link somewhere. <laughs> and I've done some uh, simple oven chips and I did a tin of beans, but I chopped an onion and put it in the pan first with a little bit of oil, fried it up. And uh, uh, added some paprika. So they're kind of smoky beans. Um, oh, and Jason's just brought that in that we got from her and it's actually quite lovely. It's very nice. And quite a significant amount of heat as well. And, uh, of course, we're having uh, bread and butter. Because, like, as a you have to ask why. They don't need to. For butties. They don't need to ask why. Chip and bean butties. <laughs> um, right, yeah. Short one tonight, love. So that's pretty much it. We're still in the thick of editing. But thankfully, Vlogmas is almost over. Uh, as we sit here now on Thursday night. It will be over by the time you see this on Tuesday. Yeah, it's not like we haven't enjoyed doing it. No, it's just been a lot. And I think with working as well towards the end, just towards because we started off with a fire in our belly, <laughs> and we were like, "Yeah, we're going to smash this," and we did, and we did, and and then you get to a sort of around into the teens, towards the twenties, and then you're like, oh, feeling it a bit now. Yeah. <laughs> right, dinner, my loves, on Thursday night. It's nearly Christmas. Bye, loves. Hello loves, it's Friday night and we did the very last of our Christmas shopping today which you have probably already seen on a vlog on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just, the cogs were turning but I wasn't getting anywhere um, this is two tins of that Sriacha jackfruit that I got from Sainsbury's for 14p just two tins with one white onion and a small yellow pepper fried up with it and a lovely salad because we're going to have wraps we're going to have wraps tonight it might accidentally be the cheapest meal of the year let's have a let's have a, a taste of it yeah it's um some, some bits are quite chunky what have you done with it i've just fried it mm. Is nice, right? nice flavour. There's a slight sweetness to it. Mm hmm. Which for me, I feel like I might put a bit of black pepper on it or something. Yeah. Just to kind of. Yeah, it's still it's all nice. right, 14 beards in. So we've got two wraps each, Jason. Oh, of course, yeah. Now this will be the last this one. This will of the be year. the last of the year. Right, I'll keep it traditional for everyone then. We'll go back to. It's the shitting of the salad. It cheated. There we go. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh, some of that vegan junkster truffle flavour mayo over there that I'm going to have on mine. Uh, so there you go. That is our dinner on Festive Friday. 
let's call it. <laughs> and hopefully we're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Right, off we go. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday night and we've had our final day of vlogging, editing and uploading and shenanigans. <laughs> And <laughs> this is a very random dinner. So we're trying this 12 piece oriental selection from Tesco and this Korean style cauliflower popcorn from Sainsbury's, which was yellow stickered. But if it hadn't have been, it's not like I'd pay 5.25 for it. 5.25 is a bit steep, isn't it? It is a bit steep considering that's all you get. But it's taste the difference. And apparently. you get a gochujang dipping sauce and uh, sesame seeds uh, to dip into afterwards. So that's kind of cute. Mm. We've got a corn roast beef sandwich with mustard. And yeah, we're not going to do a review on any of it. What's the what's point? It'll be gone. That's a val very valid point. It'll be gone. It'll all be gone. Or it'll be like yellow sticker to oblivion. Yeah. Which is quite possible. This one's, depending on how popular... Um, if they're not that popular, then they will end up getting severely reduced, I think. So yeah. you, you could get yourself a bargain in the new year, who knows? You could, or even before the new year. Yeah. Who knows? Um, so there you go. Uh, that's what we're having for our dinner. Yes, it's a very random one, but we shall thoroughly enjoy it with a glass of wine. Eh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Actually, happy Boxing Day as you're watching this, but not now as we're recording it. It's very confusing. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday evening, Christmas Eve, and what a random bunch of sludge <laughs> 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 on our plates. Well, because we had the kind of Chinese last night, we decided tonight we were going to have an Indian, so I brought it all in. It's the Plant Chef um, Vegetable S'mores with Tear and Share. Had one of these left, which were a pound, but are now only 65p in um, B&M Bargains, which is these two bits shared between us. And then a packet of these Indian style lentils that I got for two for a pound from Heron uh, last week, which are these ones here. Fabulous. And a little bit of lime pickle for me. I think we should test these ones, Jason. Yeah. We're like we've, You've done a test test on all of these in your... Yeah, yeah, they're great, they're great. Um, quite sizable. We're trying the uh, the plant protein Heinz. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Oh, they're flavoursome. Oh, that's great. And the lentils have got a lovely bit of texture. Yeah, no, they're really nice. Nice bit of fresh tomato on the side. Oh, lovely. This is going to be great. Yeah. I'm going to tear and share that. So there you go. want to get rid of all this now so we can chill out and have us tea. Um, and there you go. <laughs> Christmas Eve. We're starting with uh, Indian themed. No doubt we'll be snacking all night because that's what you do. <laughs> of course. And uh, we'll see you for the big day tomorrow, my loves. Hey, Christmas Eve. Bye, loves. Hello my loves, Merry Christmas, it's Christmas Day and so rather than having a meal this evening, we're having this right now. So that's my um, 86 Eats uh, deli turkey sliced, we've got uh, this isn't pork sausages wrapped in levy bacon, we've got roasted parsnips roasted with maple syrup, we've got red cabbage with cinnamon and butter carrots with butter, thyme and orange juice, sprouts with um, levy bacon lardons, sage, chestnuts, butter, <laughs> bits, you know all bits, creamy mashed potato, roast potatoes roasted with rosemary on top and a beautiful cider gravy and we're about to go live. Jason's wearing his Christmas hat to this very sparkly jumper. I'm very happy, man. And uh, there you go. TVG Christmas dinner about to get smashed. Bye, loves.